Uh, let's see. So, where did we come from? Okay, that's where we came from, over there. There were some basilisks over here that need some, need some slaying. Let's save it in case we die over here. I'm not even sure they're still over here. Oh, here they are. Ugh, I didn't know that's what a basilisk looked like. Let's see if we could stun it. Am I gonna get out my weapon or not? Oh, I love that move. <laughs> that is a ridiculous move. Alright, one down. Oh man, my inventory. I'm not gonna have room for any of these. Look at this. Okay, I can't get his eye. Um, we are going to drop... I've already got a hundred drowner brains. I don't need any more. So we'll pick up the eye. What do we need for the quest anyway? What did he want for the basilisks? He wants hides. Three basilisk hides. Did we pick up a basilisk hide? I don't remember. Did we? I don't think we did. I don't think we I don't think there was a hide in there. Huh, I didn't realize we had so many cockatrice feathers. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, that's just the drowner brain tissue. We don't need that. Oh, didn't get him. Let's run back until our um, endurance is up enough so that we could try to stun him again. Alright, here we go. Oh. oh, okay, we did get him. Okay, maybe he was stunned before and I just didn't realize it. Remains. Oh, this is the hide. What the, where is it? Oh, oh, it's up here. Okay, it's not an alchemy item. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, excellent. So now, now we've got two of them. We just need one more to complete this quest. It sure would be nice if there was another one over here. Circle of the last drop and a couple of trunks. This is for Ard. Oh no, Axie, my bad. Hmm, what's this? A moon rune. Cool. Alright, thank you very much. Another trunk over here. Fish, vodka, tallow. Nothing exciting. Nothing to get too excited about, people. Move along. Well, apparently there's only two basilisks here. There might be more on this island. Let's look around it. Just explore the island. Yeah, it'd be awesome if there was another one. We could just go ahead and take care of that quest while we're here. It's true, we're going to have to come back here again anyway to talk to the Lady of the Lake again. But it'd be nice to go ahead and have it taken care of. Not seeing anything, though. Royal Wyverns. I don't really need to kill any more Royal Wyverns. I've got all the eggs I need. Uh, oh. Well, I guess we kind of want to go this way, though. Check out this temple, maybe. Altar of Dagon. That was neat. Here's a crate over here. Let's go check it out. Eh. Nothing too exciting in there. going on down here? Hmm. So, at some point, we are most probably going to get an item that we can place into this altar. And we don't have it yet. Some wyverns and a corpse. Man, that's a lot of wyverns over there. Yikes. Couple of corpses. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So at some point we will be directed back here, I'm sure. And man, there's a lot of wyverns. A whole lot of them. I really don't want to fight them. But I'm also curious to see what's over there. 
Where are we on this island anyway? Right here? Campfire. Oh, it looks like it goes on down here. Circle of elements, campfire. I think this is where we're supposed to s search for her necklace or something. Man, do I have to kill these things? Okay, here comes one of them. Um, I don't think I can knock these guys down. No, I can't. Okay. Um... Alright, let's get, uh, Igni. I don't think they like being put on fire. Oh gosh, no, they don't. Look how much damage that did to him. Okay. Cool. Alright. Oh, he's got all kinds of crap. He did a fair amount of damage to us, which is a little concerning, but uh, we did good damage to him too. He did not like fire. No sir, he did not. I don't want both of them to come at me. Okay, you come over here. Let's fight over here where we can be alone for a moment. I did about a quarter, quarter health damage. I need to back up and not let him hit me. He's still on fire, look at that. Look at that. This guy's still on fire, still burning. I wonder how far he'll chase me. He is still on fire. He may die here pretty soon. He's doing... Whoa! Whoa! Carol! I was just looking at his health bar, thinking he was going to die, and I wasn't even paying attention to my own health until the screen turned black and white. Okay. Mm, I just remembered, um, when we walked past the elves back there, I should have stopped to, to give Teruvio her bread. Bought some bread for her, I forgot about that. Okay, I think we could stun these guys. Yeah, he's stunned. Come on, girl. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's kind of nice. We don't have to spend a lot of time taking these guys out, because I just want to come over here just to see if there's anything cool to look at, really. Some corpses, more royal wyverns. Alright, who wants some of this? Okay, looks like the royal wyvern does. Let's pull him back over here. So we're not interrupted. Alright, let's back up a little bit. He's he's doing more damage to us than I am comfortable with. Get our health back a little bit. Yeah, he's still on fire, look at that. How neat is that, huh? It's pretty cool. Oh, he's just gonna stand there? Okay, he's not on fire anymore. Here he comes. Okay, so just hit him twice with our uh, Igni, and he goes down. Switch back over to Ard. We'll take this guy out. Hello. Oh, whoops! I don't have my uh, endurance back yet. I was a little too hasty there. Nice move. Good job, Geralt. Nicely done, my man. Nicely done, Geralt. Uh, gosh, four more wyverns? Gee whiz. Uh, wyvern frenzy over here. Come on. Okay, here comes one. Okay, one down. Wait for our vitality to come back. So it's kind of looking like there's nothing too terribly interesting over here. There's a couple of corpses that we'll look at once we take the rest of these guys out. That's pretty much it, really. Your turn. Nice. 
Nice. That's pretty cool, man. I like that move. I like it a lot. Very simple, very easy, very clean, very efficient. No muss, no fuss. Is that Wyvern sleeping? I think it is. I think that Wyvern has decided to take a nap. It's going to be his last. It's kind of pretty out of here. Okay. Alright. Big left-handed swing there. Alright, one more wyvern to worry about. I thought there were two corpses over here. Yeah, well, I thought there were. Come here, you. Right. Hmm. Just the one corpse. Ooh, he has an interesting little dwarven axe. A gold diamond ring. Huh. Well, unfortunately, I can't carry this with me, and I like having a torch on me. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I mean, when would I ever... Oh, how neat is that? Look. Oh, that's like the gateway down to the uh, underwater city. Oh, how neat. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, I guess... Mm, eh. I don't know. I pick up torches all the time. Of course, now that I've done that, I'll need a torch. But we have, we have cat. We don't really need to carry the torch right now, I guess. I didn't even notice that walkway down into the water. Look at that. That's as far as it'll let us go. That's cool, though. I mean, even if that's just there for looks, I like it. It's pretty neat. Well, unfortunately, we have searched, I believe, the entire island, and we did not find another basilisk. It's too bad. I'm sure, a lot of fireplaces on this island. Alright, Lady of the Lake. It was nice talking to you. I'll be back when I have some uh, gifts for you from the humans and the Vodunoi. that drown our brain tissue we dropped just a moment ago. So, let's see. Which quest are we tracking? Old habits die hard. Yeah. Kill the drowners. At Lakeside, on Black Turn Island, and near the village. Then I defeat their leader. Oh, this has been updated. Or did I? No, no, I didn't. This is the same, same thing. It, it isn't updated. Okay, back in the boat. How peaceful. Just nice, peaceful, floating on the water. So let's go see if the, um, oh, there's the Fisher King. Does he have anything new to say to us? Hmm. I'd like to get a letter to Vizima. I'd like to get a letter to Vizima. Mm. <laughs> Thanks. Hmm. Thanks? That looked like a, no, I don't think Take so. Take care. Did we give him the letter? I don't know. Quest wasn't updated. Come on, Vodunoi priest. Come on, be here. Uh, 
Nope, doesn't look like he is. So she said something about looking at the altar to determine what the humans and the uh, Vodinoi could offer. And it looks like oranges maybe and I don't know. I don't know what else is there. This talks about... Whoa. For the Lady of the Lake is a goddess of elder peoples with such wisdom and might that her single utterance conquered hatred and greed. She spoke but one sentence, one sentence so filled with truth that they had no choice. For no man and no Vodinoi can resist the ultimate truth, and so humans and Vodinoi shook hands and presented each other with gifts, forging a truce. Wondrous were the gifts indeed, a gold bracelet belonging to the village's founder richly ornamented by a true master's hand went to the Vodinoi. Okay, so we're going to need to find a bracelet. And an old Vodinoi looked upon the lady's face and said, Thy word can make this world sink just as it can make it burn until only ashes remain. And as the people saw a fine statue of alabaster appear, they were all speechless. What? Where's the other gift? And by the lake in a wondrous land, a great feast was held. And so the story goes. Wondrous were the gifts indeed. A gold bracelet, bracelet went to the Vodinoi. Um, okay, I'm not real sure what was given to the humans. Maybe somebody will know. I don't know. Hmm. Well, maybe if we ever get to talk to the priests again, we might find out. So, it's kind of a bummer. We're going to have to come back here at, maybe at uh, dusk, perhaps. Simply because that's when, I think that's when we saw him the first time. I think it was dusk. I'm going to run back over here to the elves and uh, see to reveal and give her the bread. It should be interesting to see how she reacts, because she gave us 20 orins to buy 5 loaves of bread. Well, 20 orins would only buy 4 loaves, so we spent some of our own orins to buy the 5th loaf. And I know that these guys do not care for charity. So I'm thinking maybe... Um, I don't know, we'll see what happens here. Yes? How many loaves was How I supposed to buy? How many loaves was I supposed to buy? Five. Mm-hmm. We need food. Hurry. Farewell. We need food. Hurry. We're not doing anything about it. So you go buy us some bread. Yes. I bought bread. I bought bread. I'm pleased we didn't misplace our trust. I'll give her five loaves. Here. Five loaves. I thank you. Moments like these make me think we can end this spiral of hatred and accept each other as we are. Well, why not? I'm a hell of a guy. Level gained. Why, did, why didn't that update the quest, or did it? There we go. Quest completed daily bread. A few loaves of bread won't save the elves from starving. <laughs> okay, well, it won't, but, you know, it's all she asked for. What am I supposed to do? A few loaves of bread won't save the elves from starving. Daily bread. Teruvial was thankful for the bread, but what I brought can't save the elves. That's clear. That is clear as can be. Now what? Now what do we do? So now we're in the strange... I don't know. Game of dice. Um, so we're supposed to play dice with um, our good buddy Dandelion. We're not going to do that here, of course. We need to find Alvin. Um, we're supposed to look in crypts. I'm only aware of two crypts so far. We need to go talk to Berengar again. This is dice again. We need to fight. This is ongoing. Uh, this is the Drowners. We only find those at night. We need to speak with the Vadian priest and, and Julian. Uh, we still try to need to get these the Shimmering Dust. Ooh, from Noonwraiths. So, you know, that's something we could do during the day. It's 12 o'clock now. Let's run back here to the fields. 
and uh, we'll see if there aren't some noon wraiths we could be killing. There's those wolves again. I'm going to try to avoid those. Not that I'm afraid of them. I just don't feel like messing with it. You understand. I'm sure you do. Ah, uh, we can't get through here. Well. There we go. Road to fields. 